What's up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero. Welcome to episode 20 of our Pokemon White Domination. In the last episode, which was last week, we took on the Nimbasa City Gym, um, earning our fourth our fourth gym badge here in the Unova region. In today's episode, we are going to be continuing on to Driftvale City, getting ready for our next gym badge. So if you're excited for more Pokemon White, make sure the thumbs up down below. Make sure you're subscribed with the little bell icon clicked, even though sometimes it doesn't even matter. You can have it all clicked and still not get a notification because... Anyway, before we jump into our team recap, last week I was all like... Yeah, we're back, and the videos will be here, and then Thursday and Friday the videos wouldn't be here, and there's a bunch of good reasons. Um, last week was a difficult week for me. I'm not getting into that. This is not a negativity channel, so I'm not getting into that. Um, and then my birthday happened, and I just didn't want to do anything. On top of that, I've been talking about this Ultra Sun Wonderlock playthrough that's supposed to be starting. Well, I'm still waiting on the graphics. Not going to get into that. Not going to get into it. I'm hoping that maybe today the first episode will be up. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But let's get to it. Let's do a quick team recap because I need this just as much as anybody. Oh, right. I remember what happened in the freaking last episode. First up. Going in the PC very soon, we have Eleonora, our level 28 ground type Magmortar, holding the Quick Claw Sassy Nature with Icicle Spear, Vital Flow, Vital Throw, Chatter, and Horn Drill with the Dry Skin ability, of course. Next up, we have Hammond, our level 29 Dragon Water type Weavile, not holding anything with the Naive Nature with Avalanche, Blue Flare, Zap Cannon, and Spore with the Synchronize ability. Next up, we have Katita, our starter, the original level 29 ground type Magmortar, holding an Amulet Coin, Timid Nature, with Vacuum Wave Cut, Lava Plume, and Whirlwind, and the Dry Skin ability. Next, we have Bridget the Randomized, our level 28 Fire type Nine Tails, Rith Rash Nature, <clears throat> with Strength, Acid, Ominous Wind, and Protect and the Poison Heal ability. Next up, we have Emery the Hax God, the level 29 Psychic type Porygon 2, Brave Nature, with with Body Slam, Swift Hurricane, and Roost, and the Rock Head ability. Lastly, we have Bitor, our level 29 Electric Poison type Bear Tick, holding the Amulet Coin, Tibid Nature, with Acid, Sacred Sword, Body Slam, and U-Turn, and the Natural Cure ability. Now, as we make our way back to the Pokemon Center, I like how that went perfectly with the music. Anyway, as we make it back, in the last episode, we found our, we got our second Magmortar. Out of 649 Pokemon, I think was the number I came up with, it evolved into... Wait, when are we supposed to go to the desert? When are we supposed to go to the desert resort? Because if we go to Driftvale, there's still a bunch of trainers that we haven't fought. But I also don't really want to battle too much because the highest we can go is level 31, I think. Uh, Eleonora, you are going here. Pia is going to join the team. <clears throat> and the reason Pia is joining the team is because I'm not doing too... I'm not going to have two Mag Mortars on the team. So we're Pia, level 20, Rock type, Impish Nature, with Steel Wing, Haze, Yawn, and Light Screen, and the Thick Fat ability. AKA, kind of booty. Kind of booty. Um, what kind of TMs do I have? <laughs> Don't really have much of anything. And these are just like, these aren't, these can't be like T, oh, TM department. Flash Cannon, Gyro Ball, Rest, Bubble, Ally Switch, Withdraw, Smelling Soap. I mean, Flash Cannon would be cool, but I mean, for a fifth of my money, what are we supposed to do? Um, oh. I'm gonna buy some Hyper Potions. I'll buy two of these. 
We got we got money now. We good now. Do I have, how are my repels? Ten. Eight. Actually, here I'm gonna buy an additional ten of these because again, money is no longer a, th a thing for us. All right. We could use this episode either to travel to. Okay, I have an idea. We're gonna use this episode to gather some more encounters that we can use, and then we're gonna come back and take on some trainers. So, uh, let's continue. Are we meeting a new character today? We just might be. <laughs> Domino, stop! You've got a bolt badge. I've got a bolt badge. Let's test to see who's stronger. You or me. This time, I'm gonna win. I doubt it. Now that I can use all of my Pokemon, I don't think you can win. Now, I'm gonna try my hardest to stay under level 31. If I get over level 31, I'm putting the Pokemon in the box. Period. Alright, Weezing. This is a Shroomish. It has Drizzle. I wonder how much Steel Wing's gonna do. I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna give it a try. I missed, he hits me with Aqua Tail, I probably die. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Um. <laughs> whatever. Whatever. Whatever, dude. You got it. You got it. Sure. You got it. Sure. Torment? Doesn't that mean I can't use the same move back to back? You're surprised I chose the move to stay in and get caught? How was I supposed to know that he had Aqua Tail? Now, was that stupid of me to stay in? Probably. Also, Torment is the one where I can only use attacking moves. Alright, let's go to Bridget. I'm so sad, like... I've never used a Weezing in anything. That might have been pretty exciting. But anyway. What I was in the process of saying was we're going to take this episode to get all the encounters that we can. I think we can get... Three encounters right now. Maybe even four if I'm careful. And then we could potentially reconstruct a team. We could at least get, ooh, poison heal. Could you poison me? Thank you, I appreciate that. Considering that I'm not gonna go to the Pokemon Center, considering I'm not gonna go to the Pokemon Center during this episode, poison is perfect for Bridget. This is perfect. That's the first time we've gotten to use this. Hippopotas? I'm staying in. Wait, Hippopotas is an ice type. If I remember correctly. You shall smash you. You know, I really wish... I've talked about this. I talked about this briefly earlier. I really wish that I could start the Ultra, the Ultra Sun playthrough. I really do. Because I'm very excited for it. And then I was thinking, like, you know, maybe I could just not have a layout. <laughs> but I probably shouldn't do that. It's just hard to stay patient. I'll talk about it more once the series actually starts. But, hey, so you're going to need to stop. Why does strength sound so weird? Is that what strength usually sounds like? Uh, I could use protect and heal. I'll keep that in mind. I'm not going to do it right this second, but... I might do it this turn. Let me go ahead and speed this up just a little bit. Let me protect once. And back in strength. Too close! Too close for comfort! <laughs> Why? Why can't I beat you? <laughs> oh, you two are friends? That's nice! 
how you're helping each other get better by competing. Okay, let's go. Um, I need to heal. We are meeting a new character today. Ha! Oh, why if that isn't Elisa? Ha! Aren't festivals grand? Life should be enjoyed. Who is this man? You don't know? This is Alder, the Unifus region's champion. Champion? Why would the champion be goofing off in a place like this? Oh, I heard that remark. You're quite a judgmental young person, are you not? My name is Alder. I'm the Unifus Pokemon's League Pokemon League's champion. Pleased to make your acquaintance. For your information, I'm not goofing off. I am on a voyage. I know every corner of Unova. Um, I'm Saren from New Vabatown. My goal as a trainer is to become the champion. Hmm, traveling with the goal in mind is a commendable thing. And what do you plan to do after becoming the champion? What else is there other than the striving to become a better trainer? The strongest trainer, that's the champion. Hmm, becoming stronger. Becoming stronger, you say? Is that alone enough of a goal? Hmm, that's not what I... It's not that I'm trying to say your way of thinking is wrong. In my travels, I've helped many people learn to love Pokemon. I think that's important, too. If you play with those children, you might gain more of an understanding. We two have a Pokemon battle with those, too. Hey, you two. Come here for a moment. Understood. But before that... No! You got rid of my poison, you jerk! Sharon, don't touch my Pokemon without my permission! He touched my Pokemon without my permission, and he's gonna do it again. I know he's going to, and I'm not happy about it. He sent out a Relicanth and a Pidov. Oh no! This means I have to switch on turn one. Because he just revived Pia. Well, that sucks. Uh, Drizzle. Uh, everyone's level 29. Are you kidding me? That means I can only grow two more levels with these people before the next gym. But the next gym does come pretty quick. There's just a lot of battles. Oh, Cotton Spore. Didn't that just, like, identify me or something? No, it lowers my speed. Okay, sure. Okay, sure. Alright, I'm gonna speed this battle up. This battle is not important. Let's attack this Relicanth because... Okay. The Pidove has Wonder Guard. Okay. Let's get rid of Relicanth. Because now I'm a little concerned. He has a Citrus Berry! What you doing, bro? What are you doing, bro? What you doing over there, bro? Come on. Come on. You can't just do the same thing over and over again. Whoa! Your Shroomus is dead. You're having a rough time, ain't you? Ain't you, Sharon? Yeah, the Vile Plume better be coming out. Did the Vile Plume go down levels, or was I not paying attention? Signal Beam takes him out. Okay. Now, this thing has Wonder Guard. So let's try a vacuum wave and see if it is super effective. It's not. Okay. Let's try a lava plume. Okay. Uh, Pokemon types. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, let's take a look. Alright, while we're taking a look, let's... Go back to normal speed. Okay, so fire is not super effective. And neither is fighting. What am I trying to look at? Alright. I don't, have a, I don't have a clue what I'm trying to look at. Let's switch it up. Let's go into... Hammond. What's he using? Sky attack? I'm pretty sure I'm ice. No. Dragon something. 
Dragon something. All right. Um, can I still put him to sleep? How does this work? Okay, I can still put him to sleep. This vile plume doesn't have anything to hit it with. That's why it's using leer over and over again. Why am I slow? Is Avalanche low priority? Uh, let's try a Zap Cannon. Whoa. Alright, uh... What am I to do here? Let's go bridge it. What if he doesn't have any... What if he's like... A random wonder guarded something something that doesn't have a weakness. Oh, there we go. You also have a citrus berry? I feel like Alder set us up. I feel like Alder gave these guys citrus berries so that they could take us on. I have a feeling Alder would do something like that. Blah, blah, blah. Hurry up. Hurry up. This episode's already 16 and a half minutes over, and we still are nowhere. Nicely done. You didn't win, but that was a good battle. Your Pokemon looked like they were having fun. Young man, if there are people like you who pursue strength, there are also people who are happy just being with Pokemon. There are many different people and many different answers. When it comes to what a champion should be, you and I may hold differing views, but so be it. Give it some thought. Let's roll. The Driftfield Drawbridge is just ahead. The Tepa is the strongest of the strong. That's all there is to it. Sharon, I, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of Sharon. I never have been. I never will be. Alright, I gotta go drop off Pia. And then we've gotta get some encounters. Avoiding trainers at all costs. I'd rather not have any more battles today. I would rather just grab encounters. But first, our boy got smacked because the the game UI no what AI is what I was trying to say. The game AI knows what type I am, so it can go for super effective. What happened? I thought we were struggling in this series. There's only five Pokemon in the death box. I mean, granted, I only have six Pokemon that are alive. <laughs> what the, why would you do that? You see me running in the straight line. Why would you get in front of me? I hate when people do that. I hate when people do that. Like, pay attention to what's around you. All right, let's go to this Drift Veil drawbridge. Let's avoid people. <laughs> this way. <laughs> now to contact him. It's me, Elisa. Please lower the drawbridge. I have a couple trainers here who want to challenge you. Okay, thanks. Now, watch this. Whoa, I see you showing off. You could have put Nimbasa City in the background. You could have. Look at that. Look at that. Standard background. They just want you to focus on the- Look at that! Look at that! Come on! I have a TV gig, so I've gotta go. The gym leader of the next town may, may take some getting used to. Do your best, both of you. <laughs> what I am as a trainer, I prove I'm right by getting stronger and winning in battle, even against the champion. Eh, <laughs> uh, no. Not, not quite. Not, not quite. Alright. Oh! Hammond is up first. That is good for us. I found a muscle wing. I don't know what I... I don't know why I expected the first thing I found. My eyes are scanning. My eyes are wide open. I found another muscle wing. Again, I don't know what I expected. Ah! 
Found a resist wing. One of these will be an encounter. One of these will be an encounter. I found a swift wing. Found another swift wing. I'm gonna run back and forth on this drift veil drawbridge. I can get encounters here, right? I'm pretty sure I can get an encounter here. I'm pretty sure. If I can't, I'm just gonna look like a big idiot. But I mean, what's new? And why is the soundtrack so long? I can't get encounters here, right? Right? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's take a look here. Let's take a look here. Yes, I can. I totally, 100% can. Turn right back around. It is raining in Driftvale. I've got to get an encounter here. I've got to. I've got to. I need more diversity. No, 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 no. That's not what I said. I don't need more wings. I need diversity. I need team members. Please, please help me, help me. I'm asking nicely. I'm trying to, <laughs> this episode, I haven't done anything. Where, did, where is it? Come on! Alright. Let's speed up a little bit. Nothing. There we go. All right, our encounter is. I'm not upset. I'm not upset. I'm not upset at all. Why would I be upset? You're fast. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that. All right. Uh, let's go bridge it. This thing needs to not be weak to acid. As long as it's not weak to acid, we are good. Don't be weak to acid. Cool. Alright, now, ask me why I... Ask me why I put it to sleep before I weakened it. I'm gonna go ahead and do one more. Bridget, do not. Do not. I mean, we should be good now. I don't wanna risk it. I don't wanna risk it. Back to Hammond. That's annoying. But that's okay. Grass Pledge, huh? All right, well now that it's cosmic powered, if we can't catch it off of the first couple, we can go back in and acid it and all that stuff. Yeah! Nice. All right. Let's go like that. Nah. Okay, there we go. We have Glaceon, the fresh snow psychic type Pokemon. 
By controlling its body heat, it can freeze the atmosphere around it to make a diamond dust flurry. Nice. All right, Glaceon's name will be... No, not A1 Steak Sauce. No, not A-W something. Alonzo the Glaceon. Let's take a look at Alonzo the Glaceon. Psychic type, impish nature, holding the Aspear Berry with Grass Pledge, Cosmic Power Lick, and take down in own tempo. I am always okay with something that prevents from being statused. So, nice. Now we're going to run over here. And what we're going to do, I'm trying to do this all one-handed. This is challenging. Holding the B button and moving one-handed is not the easiest thing. All right. Let's run over here because I'm pretty sure... Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. I'm trying to run in a straight line. All right. Huh. So you're the trainer that Lisa was talking about, huh? Huh. I'm Clay. I'm the gym leader around here at these parts. Don't be expecting no welcome now, because when we lowered that bridge to Team Masma guys, we caught done escaping all the ruckus. <laughs> what a bother. We're grateful that you lowered the bridge, but how is it our fault that they escaped? You can say whatever you want, but what's important is y'all showed up and then Team Plasma escaped. Maybe it's a little heavy headed, heavy headed, but you ought to start looking for them Team Plasma too. You're both talented trainers, aren't you? Dang. Tell you what, if I if you find Team Plasma, I'll let you challenge my gym. Life's all about give and take. <laughs> well, I suppose that's fair, but really, we would have looked for Team Plasma if you haven't asked. I could I could get stronger while beating that bothersome bunch. No, but though, I'll go on ahead. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. We are in speed demon mode. Ain't nobody stopping us right now. Ain't nobody stopping us right now. Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody stopping us. Now the next episode, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. I know my, these episodes go so much longer than I want them to. We're not done yet. Um, when we do wrap up, in the next episode, we are going to be backtracking and, as we said, dominating the game. There are some trainers that we've let off the hook because our team was too strong. Okay, cool. I just need to get down here. Alright, hold storage. Alright, hold on. Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, move. Shh. Ah! Uh, I am sneaking. I am sneaking. All right. What? That totally looks like I can walk under it. That looks like that's literally there so I can walk under it. All right, hold on. I have found it. Or do I want double grass? I kind of want double grass. Hold on. Let me get some. Let me get a repel here. Let's have some fun. We haven't had a. We haven't had a double grass encounter. I want a double grass encounter. All right. Found gooey mulch, but not a master ball. I'll never understand. This is not double grass. I don't want to waste my repel. There is no double grass. I am disappoint. I am disappoint. We found a yellow flute, but not a master ball. Our encounter in the cold storage is a Kingler. What was our Kingler's name? Ah, uh, I almost, I can almost hear it. I can almost 
If we get hit by a water type move, we're in trouble. I'm gonna go for strength. Freeze shock. Raise your hand if you are concerned. Freeze shock is an ice type move. I should be fine. Especially since I avoided the attack because Bridget is a... Eh, not quite a god, but Bridget's cool. Giga Impact! Whoa! Don't be super effective, please. Uno mas. What is this Kingler's deal? He's got Giga Impact, Free Shock, and Blue Flare. All right, Hammond, come on out. This boy, this boy is trying to take some lives. He's out here trying to take some lives. He's trying to dominate his opponents, if you will. He seems like he'd be perfect on our team. Seems like he'd be perfect on our team. Maybe not like our on our permanent team, but as on, our, on a temporary team. All right. Let's get it. One ball, one catch. Here it goes. Watch it happen. How we do it? That's how we do it, basically. That's how we do it, basically. We have Kingler, the pincer Pokemon, Fire Dragon type, which is great. It takes away that Ice type weakness. Takes away the water type weakness. Anyway, the larger the larger pincer has 10,000 horsepower strength. However, it is so heavy it is difficult to aim. What? That didn't make any sense. Alright. I actually like this name. Not necessarily for the Kingler, but I just kind of like this name. I'm trying to think of why I like this name. But we have Roshni. The Kingler. Now, let's check out Roshni real quick. 11 hit points. Fire Dragon, Quiet Nature, Holding the Destiny Knot with Vino Shock, Freeze Shock, Blue Flare and Giga Impact with Guts. I'm a fan of Guts. I like, I like Guts. Alright. Is this double grass? Apparently this is double grass. Could have fooled me. Oh, I guess it is. Okay, I wanna do one more. I know, I know, this video is way too, uh, nah. I know this video is way too long, but I'm just trying to make the next episode... Really? Really? I'm trying to make the next episode like... Like, the next episode is gonna be... Oh my god... The next episode is gonna be all battles? But I just want it to be like... I want us to be ready to go. Alright. And I think we can only get one encounter here. So I'm not going to waste the... Or not waste the time, but I'm not going to take the time to check and see if we get a second encounter. When did I get this fresh water? Alright, here we go. Route 6. Let's grab an encounter real quick. It is a... Bulbasaur. Nice! That means whatever it is will evolve in one level. Not very effective. Speed boost. I'm gonna hit it with a strength. This is probably stupid. Not stupid. I'm gonna hit it with another strength. Psy Shock. I'm liking you so far, little Bulbasaur. Even though speed boost will probably go away when you evolve. 
Let's catch this little guy real quick. He's got a, a nice little moveset going on. I see you. I see you over here, Bulbasaur. I see you. Go ahead and come on. Go ahead. Let's go. Let's go, Bulbasaur. Let's go. Get the one, two, three, and the... Okay, or don't. That's cool. All right, now, why didn't you catch? What's your problem? There we go. All right. Bulbasaur, the rock-type seed Pokemon. For some time after its birth, it grows by gaining nourishment from the seed on its back. Yes, I will give a nickname. His nickname will be... No, it does not start with a G. His name will be... Paimo, the Bulbasaur. I could have had a Gastrodon! Where is my mouse currently? Found it. I could have had a Gastrodon! I was about to say, Bridget, you've been on the team long enough. You should know. You can't escape? That's on you. Alright, I am going to use my heal now. This episode has gone on way too long, as they usually do. Okay. Let's take a look at our final member. That is Hymo, the rock-type Bulbasaur adamant nature. Rain Dance, Psy Shock, Night Shade, and Self Destruct with Speed Boost. Wow. Wow. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just say that we're gonna make Hymo the next member. Uh, at least for now, because these guys are already fully evolved. So there's no more secrets to them. We know what they're gonna be. Um, after we evolve, if we decide that we'd rather use one of the others, then by all means we can do that. But for right now, we're gonna wrap up today's episode. In the next episode, Haimo will lead our team in the desert resort, taking on the trainers of the actual castle inside the desert resort. Then we've got to do the route to the east of Nimbasa City. And then we've got to do cold storage, and then we take on the gym. So hopefully next episode we can finish all of those battles. If you enjoyed our episode today, make sure to the thumbs up down below. Make sure you subscribe with the little bell icon. Click so you have the best chance of seeing all of our videos. Check out some other series on the channel. Maybe Ultra Sun Wonderlock will be out today. Maybe it's just a myth and it'll never come out. I have no idea. But again, thank you so much for spending some time with us today. We'll see you in the next episode. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.